I'm Rio Panapa. I'm a musician and vlogger, and like you, I'm in lockdown for the next four weeks at home in Rotorua with my whanau. Keeping healthy, physically and mentally during this time is so important, and music for me is a big part of that. Over the next month, my goal is to lift the spirits of viewers by connecting with other musicians around the motu, sharing their waiata and thoughts with us. Get ready to be lifted. Rob Ruha is an award-winning composer, artist and te reo Māori exponent from the stunning East Coast. With Kapahaka as the cornerstone of his unique haka soul sound, Rob continues to lead the way for reo Māori music adored by fans across the country. This is Rob Ruha on Lifted. Morena bro, how are you? Morena, yeah, no, no, all good, all good. So is bro. Kazi, thank you for your time, bro. I appreciate you jumping on here for a quick yarn. Um, bro, if you could just tell us firstly where you are in the country and who you're isolating with, bro. Oh, um, in Tikaha at the moment, so I'm at our, our kāinga here in Tikaha. Uh, and with uh, with my whānau, with my wife and my tamariki. Mm. Beautiful, bro. And and how's the feeling on the whare? How's everyone doing? You fellas? Uh, all great. Yeah. All good. Uh, especially, you know, being home, mm. me and... Um, me and my wife were usually on the road all the time, yeah. doing as, as you do. Yeah. As you do from your museum in, in Aotearoa. Yeah. And uh, the kids are, you know, the kids are doing their thing, usually at aunties and uncles' house if we're not here. Yeah. Uh, and then going to Kura and, and doing all that kind of stuff. So it's just me and as a being um, able to hit pause. Yeah. Uh, and be with the whānau, do heaps of make whānau time. Mean, bro. And what sorts of things have you been doing with, with the kids to oh, stay entertained? Hey. <laughs> hey, it's our our whare has turned into this big ears um big ears kura there's uh, we've got those blinking uh, chalk uh window things that yeah. you can write on the windows um uh, waiatas it's been choice actually teaching them um all the waiatas that i grew up on you know beautiful we, we grew up in a in a real kapahaka whanau mm. uh and learned a whole heap of waiatas that later on in my life i, I found out that we you know written by my great-great-grandparents and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, we've been doing that as well, teaching them about sound production. Yeah. They've been recording their own jams. Awesome, bro. Uh, writing their own stuff. And, yeah. You know, not just, just doing some real good stuff, wholesome yeah. stuff. Like Choice, bro. And um, obviously, um, kapaka and composing uh, Māori Wata is a big part of your life, bro. Has this, yeah. has this time sort of given you uh, inspiration or the opportunity to, you know, hit pause and just do some writing and... Yeah, bro. It's been it's been um, the main incubator actually. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and it's been choice too because like um, after last year, last year kind of hit pause from all of the um, just you know gigging, gigging, gigging all the time. Yeah. Um, to just take a creative pause and just figure out okay, where's the next step uh, creatively? Because you know, as you know. When you're in the thick of it, um, just gigging all the time, sometimes that's that's the only place you're, you're um, you know, you that occu- that's the only thing that occupies your mind. That's it, bro. Um, and so to, to get in that creative space again usually takes a little bit of jolting, and yeah. especially for me anyway. Yeah. Bro, so has, has much changed for you with isolation and saying that? Like where you fellas live, and, or is it kind of similar to how you kind of always live? Yeah, well, no, like, because we've only been really back on the coast for about uh, a year and a half, nearly two years. Yeah. Um, and before that, we were living in Gizzi and living in Rotorua, living in yeah. Tāmaki. Mm. And so uh, I guess the, the big difference is once we did move back here, back to the coast, is that um, when we got home, it was home. You yeah. Know, everything kind of left. Yeah, and yeah. I, I guess that's, you know, when you're, when you're brought up on the coast and... Uh, you know, and then you get the privilege of of living back there in your adult life as well. Yeah. Those those things those things leave you. Yeah. And then and then when when you do go into your creative bubble, you're okay. Then not where you're 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 in this real, uh, mecky juicy air space that yeah. you're, you're not influenced by everything else that's happening yeah. out in the big cities and. That's and peaceful. That's kind of peaceful, way, bro. You really dive in. Yeah, yeah. That's like me, bro. When I come home, I feel. Um, at peace, bro, I just feel everything is all good and I'm not mm. being influenced, like you said. It's just, you're yeah. comfortable, eh, bro? It's, it's, it feels right yeah. to, to be there? Yeah, that's right. Like yeah. a nice warm blanket, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, and you're also, you're also a teacher as well. 
Um, yeah. how, how are you? Are you are you guys doing distance learning with your students, or how how's that oh, running? Oh yeah, bro, yeah, bro. So um, like we've got last year we cooked we cooked off a, a bit of co- a bit of a copapa with um, some ranatai from the coast called Kahal, mm. and basically um, it's it's a ranatai kind of youth choir kind of a jam. Man. Um and um and we brought a whole heap of whanau on board, Sister Bella, Bella Kalolo. Yeah. Um, TK, uh, um, Tiggs, um, Katerama Po, uh, Taina, Taina Keelan. Yeah. And just all came together just to sh- share and give. Yeah. Um, these rangatai who are just passionate about singing, eh? And yeah. A lot of them do hakas, eh? So Man. a lot of them can sing, can, can blow anyway. Yeah. But, you know, in hakas, you've got to do, you know, singing and movement. And this one, this was an opportunity just to focus solely on singing. So, yeah, we have. We've been doing our writing exercises online. Um, we've uh, we've all kicked off as as the mentors. We've all kicked off this like little bit of a program. Te Karehana did last week. Yeah. Uh, little some write, writing exercises. Um, Bella's this week. Uh, she's sure. doing some vocal exercises. Um, I'm going to jump on uh, on the last week. Brother um, Kazi Taina is going to be on next week. So me. And bro, also during this time, Kazi, you guys have been on another co-papa um, creating stay with uh, yeah. Tutahi with our other music whanau out there. Uh, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what was that like, bro? Can you talk us through that experience and sort of how you oh, put it together? Yeah, and hey, I, I, I love collaborating. I love doing collabs. Um, so this was an awesome, awesome opportunity to do that. Mm. Uh, and um, when uh, Mikey Tucker from Loop uh, reached out uh, and asked if we'd be keen, myself, uh, Joel Shepo, um, brother Brad, Cora, and uh, and Coddington, uh, he presented the co-papa. We all loved it, uh, and then we just, you know, went to work. Um, hung up the phone at about nine o'clock at night. I just I'm straight on the get. Yeah. Whipped something up by four o'clock in the morning and flipped it through to the Fano. Had a bit of a had a bit of a moi. Woke yep. up and checked the emails, and then everyone had already just started loading on top Me. of that, that idea. Uh, the song stay um, that we 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 get now, but you know, through the power and uh, goodness of technology, we were able to smash it out in a real short time frame. Beautiful, uh, right from scratch, like I'm writing the song. So yeah, it was was mean. Massive, bro, and it's smashing. I think I saw it last night, and it was already up to about eight, close to a million views, eh? Eight hundred thousand, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, I think yesterday. It just clocked just over a million now. So. Yeah, no, and, and the best thing about that eh, is is the co-papa. Yeah. So the whole co-papa of it is encouraging our whanau just to you know stay hard, stay yeah. healthy, stay yeah. in our bubble. Yeah. Stay, stay home. home. <laughs> yeah, so if, if there's uh, if there's a million views, that's that's means that yeah. means um, that message has gone out there a million times. So it's making. Making my cuz. Well, bro, the whole co-papa for this show, brother, is just to um, lift the spirits of everybody who's who's doing that, bro, who's staying home at the moment. Yeah. So. Um, uh, if you wouldn't mind, bro, if, would you be able to, you know, sing a few few tunes for us? Yeah, of course, bro. Of course. Me and my cuz. That's us. Peace. <laughs>
Beautiful brother Rob, too much my cuz. Thank you bro, thank you brother for sharing your, your beautiful gifts with us bro. Super enjoyed that brother and I'm sure that all of our whanau at home will uh, appreciate your time having this chat with us um, and sharing your songs. But uh, lastly brother, is there anything that you want to say to everybody out there in ISO at the moment? Yeah, no, just just stay hard, eh, eh, eh whanau. And, um, uh, won't, be for, won't be for long, won't be forever. Mm. I mean our world's changed forever. Hey, and so um, I think I think it's uh, this is an opportunity for us to um, recalibrate um, the way that we we think, the way that we conduct ourselves mm. uh, here going on uh, going on. So yeah, kika kia tata. Beautiful, bro. Well said, brother. Well, thank you once again, brother. And I'll leave you to have the last word and sing us one more song. Cheers, bro. Cheers, my brother. Sure. Hmm.
Okay.